I've got stacks of documented evidence supporting my claims. These are copies. I've got copies in two different safe deposit boxes, several copies set to be mailed in the event of my death. You feel your life is in danger? Haven't you been listening to what I've been saying? I can't go to the police. 70% of the police force is hooked. The FBI, the NSA, I can't trust anybody. I've got nowhere to turn, but I can't let this go on. You're probably hooked, for Christ's sake. We are going to examine a highly debated topic in tonight's edition of The Conspiracy Files. Billy Tooney is not the first man to stand up to what has been called by some as the tomato mafia. Ketchup. Developed in the 1800s during the Industrial Revolution, even then, questions were being raised over the contents of ketchup. At the turn of the century, the United States passed the Pure Food and Drug Bill in 1906 to rid ketchup and other tomato products of adulterants and preservatives. So this isn't the first time that ketchup has been questioned. Not the product itself, but what is added to ketchup. In what is alleged to be an international conspiracy aimed at the American public. Is this a conspiracy so well entrenched in the American fabric that we've all been duped? Or is this just another case of someone with too much time on their hands creating another conspiracy file? Intelligence reports expected an airstrike. Instead, a heavy armor regiment, supported by artillery, began a heavy assault 45 minutes ago. We've been in heavy retreat with the rebels. We don't know if the assault is being coordinated by government-backed forces. Break! That videotape was received six weeks ago when we started this file, smuggled to us from a villager caught in the crossfire. Are international conglomerates forcing their will on an unassuming public? Is there an active cover-up? And if so, who's behind it? What's to be gained or lost? We talked to Dr. Henry Sabbatical, a doctor in addiction medicine. Addiction is commonly thought of as a physical affliction, as in the case of a heroin addiction. An equal number of cases are psychological. Based on the small amount of information I have, I'd say this is a case of psychological addiction on a wide scale. Human behavior, habits, are based on patterns. You ingrain something into the human psyche, they become dependent on this behavior. You take that something away, there's a void. The common result is pain, and this pain feels very real. We had this man's wife remove all condiments from the refrigerator and placed an empty ketchup bottle inside. This man goes into a blind rage because he doesn't have his ketchup, as if the hamburger itself is an afterthought. Obviously, you're going to find others who aren't as passionate about their condiment of choice. This subject became resigned and gives up. Not everyone responds the same way to their addiction. Each patient must be evaluated case by case. I've been on the force for 10 years, last three as an investigator. I've seen it a million times. First samples are always free. You give them a taste, then you're hooked. You're hooked? What do you mean? You have these huge conglomerates giving away thousands of little ketchup packets to fast food restaurants who in turn give them away to the consumer for nothing. I wouldn't say some free ketchup is a crime. Yeah, well you don't know shit. Nothing's for free, Jack. Next thing you know, they're buying ketchup by the bottle. You can't see it, but a pusher's a pusher. Hey, son of a bitch.
It's a damn shame. 10, 11, 12 years old and already hooked. I'm out here on the street gathering opinions. Ma'am, how do you feel about the recent story surrounding ketchup? Well, I use it on french fries and hot dogs at the game, but that's about it. Thank you. Miss, how do you feel about the recent story surrounding ketchup? This is America. If you want to eat ketchup, I think you should. But if there are additives being used to make you eat it more, I don't think that's right. Thank you. Say, sir, got a sec? How do you feel about the recent story surrounding ketchup? I can eat it on anything. Shit. I'll drink it straight out of the bottle. Thank you. There you have it, the word on the street. Help! Please, God, somebody help! Down here, help! Hey! What are you doing? Hey, get off them! See what you've done? Why can't you people just leave things alone? Huh? We've tried to get a good cross view of opinions and facts when we open this conspiracy file. I can't make a clear determination at this time. Is this an international conspiracy? Another Philip Morris in the tobacco industry sham? Or just plain good economics? You decide. We'll see you next time on the Conspiracy Files. Thank you.